just want to do like an everyday go-to kind of look i try to do a really affordable one so i try to use mostly drugstore things and um stuff that's really affordable and not expensive if you guys want to see how i got this look then just stick around okay i'm going to start off by just priming my face by benefit squeeze out a little amount just kind of rub that in really good across all the problem areas on my face okay so i have a couple breakout songs on my face so i'm just going to cover those up first i'm going to use the focusing it's just the little nyx ultra hd concealer i'm just gonna dab that on it's probably not the most hygienic to just kind of like you know apply it straight out of the container because you're just kind of putting bacteria back and forth but you know do what you want I'm just taking my finger dabbing that in so that it's blended before you put foundation over it if you don't blend your concealer, you just like throw foundation on over the top. Sometimes you can end up with like white spots under your foundation if your concealer ever lightens. I'm gonna take the um, Maybelline Matte and Poreless, the normal to oily skin version. Now that's on my face, I'm just gonna go in with like a flat top kabuki brush and just kind of like buff that in a little bit i have textured skin so like just doing this doesn't really work for me i end up having to blend it out with the beauty blender or like i end up usually having kind of like a streaky face or either you can like i said see the texture in my skin because my skin isn't perfectly smooth if you have perfectly smooth skin then I would definitely say to buff, like just put this on your face and buff it in and it would probably come out really nicely. But I don't have that luxury, so here we are. Like you see this brush is just, just makes it go patchy, sort of, all over my face. Okay, now I'm gonna do my brows off camera really quickly because if I include this, this video will be two hours long. But if anyone is interested in knowing how I do my brows, then you can just leave a comment below and I will film that. So I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be back in. Okay, brows are on. Now, um, I usually just move right onto my eyes. This is just gonna be my easy everyday go-to kind of thing when I'm in a hurry when I'm going to school or just in a rush so I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes because like I said I have oily skin so if I don't prime my shadows then they end up creasing or kind of like rubbing off really bad throughout the day I'm just gonna put that on my fingers and just dab that on so that it kind of gets it's a little nice and tacky. Now apparently somebody wants to hammer something. Now I'm gonna go in with the um, Carly Bible Palette by BH Cosmetics. I have like a couple things from BH and it's just, you know, okay, but I really like this palette. Like I think it's actually pretty good quality and it was super cheap. I think it was like $12, 12, 12 or $13. Like, you know. I'm going to start off by going in with this color right here. I don't think, yeah. None of these colors have names, so it's just this lightest shade. And I'm just going to place that all over my lid as kind of like a base shadow. Because 
to me like if you apply an eyeshadow primer and you try to like go straight in and blend colors they don't really blend like they just kind of stick to it and you end up getting really patchy so if you go in and like apply a base shadow that's similar to the color of your skin they usually end up better i'm just gonna go in now with this shadow and just apply that to my crease with this you just really want like to blend you use like windshield wiper motions back and forth and then I blend in circles like this just to try to make sure that everything is blended together really nicely Now I'm just gonna go in with this little tiny brush. This is from Eco Tools. It says it's a shade brush. And then, let's see. I'm gonna go down here, this color over here in the palette. Shadow is done. I'm just gonna go in with a little liquid liner. I'm gonna use the like the elf. I don't know if you guys can see this, it's kind of like really faded on the front. This is literally only a dollar. It's probably one of the best eyeliners that I've used. It just has a really small tip, so it's kind of easy to just flick that wing out, but it's also easy to kind of get carried away, so just be a little careful with that. This, I'm just gonna have to like bring my little mirror up here and hopefully you guys will be able to see a little bit of how I do my wing, but my hand's probably gonna be in the way. We'll see. So in the inner corner, I just wanna start out thin. So you just have like a nice little thin line on that inner part. So you can always like go back and add more liner in, but it's kind of really hard to take it back off if you decide like, oh, that line's too thick. You just, unless you get a lot of time in your day. And I just kind of skip that part and I go out to my end. Like for my lower lash line, I just kind of draw a little point up. Connect to that point and just drag it inwards. This, I think I got it in like an Ipsy bag or maybe a Birch box, but it's just like the little It Cosmetics. It's called the Hello Lashes 5 in 1 Clinical. What is it? Sorry. 5 in 1 Clinically Proven Mascara. It's a little box like this. So we're just gonna give this a shot. Never used this before. It has like one of those, like, you know, go. Can you see that? Like, go vertical. I think you're supposed to be able to do it like this. We shall see. It does like feel like it's a little dried out, even though I just opened it. It's a very dry formula. Which I don't like super wet mascaras, but when it gets really dry, it just seems like it kind of makes your lashes clump mm -hmm. together. So I feel like it made my lashes kind of like spider clumpy, so I'm not crazy about that, but We'll keep it moving. Okay, so my camera just got hot and shut off. <laughs> I just put um, some more of that NYX HD concealer on my nose, under my eyes. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in now with my little sponge. I think earlier I called this a beauty blender, but it's a real technique sponge. It's like $6 compared to $20 the beauty blender. And I think I actually kind of like this better because it has like the flat end and the pointy end, so. 
I would definitely say if you don't have one of these, like, you're gonna get this in your life. Because for me, it does make a big difference. Like I said, with my textured skin, like if I apply with a brush, then I end up looking a lot worse than if I apply with a beauty blender. And it's so much faster, like if you're in a hurry, you just, you know, bounce, bounce, bounce. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. high definition powder. It is like so similar to me to the Makeup Forever, but it's like three dollars and Makeup Forever is like thirty dollars or something, I don't even know. It's gonna take like a big, this other little powder brush, but it's kind of smaller. I'm just gonna like apply that along my hairline to kind of give my skin some color since I am so pale. Roll it around my ears. Okay, and then to chin. contour, I'm gonna go in with this um, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I think this is actually supposed to be a foundation brush, but I really use things for what they're supposed to be used for. I'm just gonna go in. gonna carve out my cheekbones and then go down my nose since I have okay then I'm just gonna take this kind of brush it is like um like an angled kabuki brush and that's just kind of what I go in and blend that out with and it's like so good I don't even have to like blend or buff I just like tap over because like I said a million times, I have textured skin. So if I'm not really careful about how I move brushes on my face, it'll make it look even worse. I'm gonna go in with this NYX Baked Blush. This has been one of my favorite brushes. It's in the color Solstice. It's like a dark, well it's not really dark, but it's like this peachy brown color. And if you have like fair skin, probably even if you have like darker skin, I think this would, well not too dark, but like tan skin, I think it would still look really well on it. Mm. Blush brushes. So I'm just going to go back with this little um, face expert I use to contour. Just do a little quick clean with it. And then go in with that solstice color I was talking about. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics Palette. And I'm gonna mix this color and this color together for a highlight. I'm just gonna use my little Anastasia Beverly Hills um, A23 brush. I'm gonna use more of the pink and the bronze shade because I'm so fair but like this freaking highlight like do you see that do you see that hey <laughs> and a lot of people you know they say oh if you have oily skin or if you have textured skin you shouldn't highlight it just makes it look worse I don't care I like to highlight I'm gonna apply that right to my cupid's bow And then down the bridge of my nose to make that look okay, good. Now last, I'm just going to go ahead and do my lips. I'm going to take this um, NYX Natural Lip Liner. I have to get a close here too. Ignore my mirror. It's literally like just a little darker than my natural lip shade so it's not a big difference i'm gonna go in with nyx butter gloss in eclair and just pop that right over top these are now horrible for that mascara i wouldn't recommend that in cosmetics mascara unless i just got a really dry one 
with any questions or have any requests or anything that you want me to do just let me know leave in the comments and if you have any questions about anything that i use that i didn't say um just check the bottom bar because i'll have that down there i'll have my twitter instagram snapchat all that stuff in case anybody wants to chat with me so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye